by Most Accurate. Now your TV5 first alert forecast. Well, good Sunday morning, mid-Michigan. We do have a risk for some stronger showers and the thunderstorms, perhaps even a few severe thunderstorms as we go into this afternoon and evening. So let's dive right into the hour by hour to time this out here. Again, we could have an isolated shower move through during the mid to late morning hours, though I expect us to stay on the drier side as we go throughout the remainder of our morning hours with the better chance for those showers and storms arriving in mid-Michigan as we go into the early to middle afternoon for round number two. The isolated showers that we might pick up. That's round number one, though again, I expect most of us uh, to be on the drier side, so you might not even know that round one has come through here in the next few hours because we should be dry. But round number two comes through as we go into the early to middle afternoon. We could have a few isolated uh, thunderstorms in here, likely not severe, though they do pose the risk for potentially some damaging winds. And then you'll notice that we have this chance for some clearing behind that round and ahead of the next round for showers and storms. And this right here will be the main show. We're talking around dinner time here as we go into the early to middle evening, developing off to our west and moving off to the east as we go throughout our evening hours. And we're talking about a better chance for those damaging winds in here and perhaps even an isolated tornado. Now, the best tornado threat for us will stay south of mid Michigan down into the lower parts of the state and especially down into Indiana and Ohio, though we do have the chance that we could see uh, some isolated spin ups at times. So we're going to be monitoring this closely as we go into the afternoon hours It's definitely not the end end of the world here, but it's something uh, that we have to keep an eye on as we go into the rest of the evening going towards the thumb. We will watch this weekend a little bit, especially as it moves out over Lake Huron, and then we'll be left with a few isolated showers behind this and then going throughout portions of your Monday overnight hours and into Monday uh, during the day and then into Tuesday. We'll have a few more of these showers and perhaps an, uh, a smaller, weaker thunderstorm during this time as well. No severe weather for us. It just says this low pivots around portions of Michigan, bringing us additional chance for that much needed rain. Now, as far as the severe weather threats go for us today, a lower end chance for an isolated tornado. Again, not the greatest risk in the world for us, but something to keep an eye on. A smaller risk for the large hail as well. High winds uh, potentially will be the, the more severe threat if we do actually see some of these gusts. 60, perhaps even 70 miles per hour could be possible. And then we could also see some localized flooding if you are particularly up north where we do have the chance for a few more cons consecutive showers to move through uh, that could allow for some heavy downpours to run over themselves. And as we go into the next few days, we are talking about some decent opportunities to pick up over a half an inch, approaching one inch of rainfall, especially for those areas that are consistently hit. And that goes Monday through Tuesday uh, as well as today. So we're uh, spreading this out a little bit. Hopefully it's not too much too soon, uh, but again, spreading it out a little bit, drying out for a brief time Wednesday into Thursday before actually adding more opportunities for showers as we go into the end of the week and into next weekend. Temperatures back into the middle 80s for us today, cooling into the 70s as we go throughout the week. And we're back into the low 80s by Friday and into Saturday. Stay with WNEM TV5 on air, on the go, and online for more news and weather updates.